It's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Coke. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel, and today we're going to go check out some Sepultura. Uh, yeah. And the song is Means to an End. Let's go check it out. Okay, Sepultura and means to an end. Andy, over to you, mate. Um, is this sort of 
pretty up to date in their catalogue of material. Uh, a couple last of album. albums. Yeah, Quadra, it's the last album, 2020. Okay. 2020, right. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm a bit... I don't know where I stand with, with Sepultura because, you know, I go way back to the sort of Special Devastation album and, and, you know, Morbid Visions, all the early stuff, all the Max era. But as, as they've sort of progressed beyond um, Beneath the Remains, I, I kind of was, was tuning out a little bit because they were, they were sort of going in a slightly different sort of direction. There's a bit more industrial and, and roots with the sort of, the you know, the ethnic feel, the, you know, the sort of, what's the word, the, you know, their the sort of, or, you know, country origins. I, I, I didn't like roots at all. Um, but much as I think he's a, you know, bit of a knob and, and not the greatest musician ever I, I really felt for, for Max kind of being forced out of his own band so I haven't really listened to the, the, the Derek era Sepultura which he, he's been in the band 20 plus years apparently you know we, we, we've, we've come so far along in, in, in time that you know he he's his material Sepultura have ever produced um, coming on to this track I like the ferocity of, of the you know the opening passages. Uh, the vocals are really powerful. I think he's a great great vocalist. Reminded me of uh, occasions of Burton C. Bell. Oh just, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the occasional sort of line, occasional word. Just I had that in my mind. Um, but the the sort of music again, some of the guitar passages you, you can hear the earlier sort of Sepultura influences. There was a bit, bit you know some of the roots sort of influence were coming through on some of the guitar parts. Um, and speaking of guitar parts, I really like both solos. I thought they were really okay. good. Um, the video sort of started off a bit sort of like a, an Indiana Indiana Jones style sort of storyline, you know, juxtaposed with, with the performance, which, you know, storyline and performance video, which is often, often what we see. And then there's sort of like a chess game that could have been from Star Wars and or Lord of the Rings. And then the guy gets buried in coins. I don't know if there is a story there or if it's one of these examples where it's just some cool imagery put together to make a music video. You know, you, you'll probably analyse that a bit more than I would have done, Dave. But listen to this, I'm still not swung into, oh yeah, I'll go and check out Derek era Sepultura. I'm kind of, you know, sort of biased towards the earlier stuff. And, and and the Max era stuff and I haven't given this a chance and this hasn't really sort of persuaded me to change that view. Okay. okay. I can see I can see why they're still a you know a strong band, a popular band and, and and still sort of producing decent music, but it's not good enough for me to be sort of swayed. Kirk, what do you reckon? Yeah, they've had a huge barren spell in the Derek era. I mean, I know people like that 1998 album against. I don't think it's great. Sepal Nation, Raw Back, these are dreadful albums. But they did they did do a good album in 2006, Dante 21, I believe yeah, it's called. Got it on my shelf. But the last three albums have returned to form. They're almost like an experimental or progressive thrash metal band now. Hmm. So that album, Quadra, two songs sound the same. That's what I loved about that album. There's even a song, Dave, at the end that you would think is Nightwish. They bring in a female vocalist. You're thinking, is this Sepultura? <laughs> Things that stand out for me, for good or for bad, I do like Derek's vocals. I just think there's no longer a death metal element in the band now because he's more of a hardcore singer, isn't he? When you listen to Beastial Devastation, Schizophrenia, clearly they had an influence on death metal at the time, didn't they? And even right up to Arise, the 1991 album, which had the Beneath the Remains, that era, you'll love that. They, they were like the heaviest thrash band on the planet, weren't they? That, the drumming stands out. And I've got a question for you on that, David, in a moment. The, Eloy Casagrande, to me, is probably the best drummer in the world. Yeah. My God, did he give life to that song? Because those riffs, the ro rotating circular riffs, you're right, we've heard them in the mid-90s, Sepultura. I'm not the biggest fan of that type of rhythmic guitar that Andreas Kast is playing, but then those drums bring this song to life. So my question for you, Dave, I was watching the session you did with Nick Clues of Cage Fight, and you made an interesting point that applies to me. You said, why is it that people who aren't drummers love technical drumming 
And when I heard you say that, I was like, that that describes me. I am the same. Was he excessive in terms of the drum fills in that song? Because I loved it. It just got me excited. But you're a drummer. What's your opinion on that approach to a, just to a four minute metal song like that? No, he wasn't. Right. Okay. Because I feel that the song was written around that drum pattern. Right. Yes. Not that. Not a riff. It wasn't a riff that was written, and then the drums were tried to written. That was something he came up with as a jam. In yeah. my opinion, this is how this formed. He started playing that, and he was playing this idea. And Andreas started doing because he was playing a lot of open, yeah, I know, out stuff. And I think that's how that song started to become formulated. Was Andreas jumped on that, and then uh, Paolo Junior he jumped on it, and then you kind of everyone that spiraled out of a jam session, and that's how that that natural feel. And that's why you've got this kind of waltz in round, round and round and round going kind of vibe rather than it being more linear like you'll hear with a lot of songs where that riff takes you to the next one takes you to the next one yeah. this feels you're constantly looping and you're just constantly like you're in the, the center or like you're being pulled around with a tornado going round and round and round that's how that song was written and that's how it feels and that's why that sort of playing makes complete sense whereas we talked about it on uh es was it escalon and helios the other week and we talked about the drummer was putting loads of fills in but that was a very linear track moving in one direction and those fills weren't actually adding anything or taking changing the direction they were putting after the riffs and everything were written i truly believe andreas sat, started playing along with uh eloy that's how that yeah. song came out because the drums just stand out yeah, they they? Do. it's a phenomenal performance and how good is the audio engineering as well yeah the, really good um, yeah so what, on, what do you think of, of that song when so this reminds me of kind of a somewhere in between the Chaos AD and the Roots era Sepultura. So it's it's kind of like it would have been the track they'd done going into doing Roots if it had been the original Sepultura uh, lineup. Um, so you've still got that earlier regression of stuff like it reminds me of things like Biotech is Godzilla, stuff like that off of Chaos AD, that more aggressive stuff, bit of territory vibe, just using the sort of drum feel uh Tom sort of sections, but it also had things like the roots, bloody roots, ratamatata, that uh vibe off of roots going on as well. So there was there were elements of that. Um Derek's vocals can be a bit hit and miss. Uh yeah, hit and miss. They they don't have the lower end that Max had. And it's really weird to think about a band that's been going in this current lineup since the late 90s. So 25 years, this lineup's been going and we still talk about the Max era, even though Max was in the band for the shortest amount of time in sense. He was like, yeah, you were in the band for 10 years, 25 years. We still talk about the Max era almost. I don't know if it was 10 years, but it felt like it wasn't. It wasn't. A, it, but it was in their most influential period. That's the problem. And there is a lot of people that never went to him. And I've missed multiple albums of Sepulchre. I didn't realize they were like knocking out an album a year. Just like bam, bam, bam. There were so many that were just released and no one heard about them. Um, but I truly, his vocals can be really good, but I just don't think he's got enough depth. He can he can scream and he can do it, but he always found, sounds a little too thin to me vocally. Um, about the video, I have no idea what it was about because I wasn't paying attention for once. I was just I was just loving the music. <laughs> and, you, do you know what? You're asking about the story and I was like, yeah, do you know what? I started trying to look at it and go, there's a guy, it looks maybe it's a bank, there's a chessboard. Oh, I don't care, I'm having fun with this. I don't care. Wouldn't watch the video again, but I would listen to the song again. But I would never go back for the video unless I was trying to now break it up because the video didn't... There was obviously a story being tried to be told, but it didn't grab you enough to yeah. help you follow it. So it just, like, went. were they in a bank somewhere? There were some coins and suddenly the band are walking through the bank. I don't understand what the fuck's going on right now. And because of that... <laughs> I lost interest. I was just vibing on the track overall. So again, music video with a story, but didn't actually make a lot of sense. Lots of just cut, captured different images, but um, this would be enough to get me to go back and listen to more Sepultura. Where yeah, I'd go. All that I really enjoyed Quadra. But anyway, let us know what you think at home. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.